Hi everyone, I thought I'd just do this uh, supplementary video because I forgot yesterday after I'd uploaded the um, adding the microphones video to CCTV cameras uh, to YouTube, I'd forgot to add on uh, how to uh, set them up in the software. So sorry about that. So there's this supplementary video if you don't know how to set them up in the software that will uh, talk you through it. It's dead easy. It's only a couple of things to click. So uh, we'll go over to the uh, to the screen now. So right. So here we are at the, uh, at the configuration screen. Now this is the the first screen for the uh, the actual network recorder. Uh, that's mine there, there the DS seven seven six zero four. So first of all, before we set them up in the cameras themselves, set it up in this. So if we go on to um, camera settings, uh, yeah. video settings, and there, video and audio, that's the uh, one you want to uh, set up. That's for camera one, channel one, camera one, video and audio, um, and do that for all your cameras. Uh, my camera two hasn't got the sound, my camera 3 has, my camera 4 has, but like you see on camera 2 it's actually greyed out because that's the, the pig nose camera, the turret camera without a sound capability. So on all your cameras make sure that is set a video or an audio and click save. And also to, uh, to go on to each one, so as we go into the um, the live view for the camera so that's the front room the front uh, camera the uh, the passive one the one with the passive mic uh, non-powered so we click on configuration and under video and audio there click the video tab and make sure we've selected video and audio there's a video only setting there video stream you must have it on video and audio click save down below I don't need to click save because it was already on that setting but whenever you've entered, entered anything in any of these menus always click save uh, and then the audio setting we've got here uh, G.711ULAW now I've no idea what that means um, but that's the setting you want and because this is a passive mic i.e. a non-powered mic you set it on mic in so if it's a non-powered microphone it's mic in if it's a powered microphone it's line in so this being the uh, passive mic it's mic in input volume 100 uh, environmental noise filter on on the input volume obviously it's the you want it on full sensitivity uh, that's uh, where i set it you can set it wherever you like and um, the noise filter again it does seem to to do some uh, filtering out of background noise uh, it won't get rid of all the wind obviously and that but um, it, it does help having that on so that was for the uh, the front of the house camera and the rear camera again click on that video and audio click on the video tab video make sure video and audio is selected and click save and audio it's the same g.71 ulaw setting there but this time because it's a powered mic we set line in so line in not mic in because it's a powered microphone input volume 100 the same and the same with the uh, environmental noise filter when you're on the live views of each camera you click down here to hear the actual camera itself that's the real one now it's a pretty calm day so we're not getting any uh, any background noise at, at all um, I'll show you how sensitive they are on the uh, live view of them all so and start on live view so we've got the front one selected here this is the uh, the front of the house front east 
the um, this one, the back and the side are all the dome cameras described where I've added the three microphones in the other video. This one on the right, the front west, is a later camera. It's the uh, the Hike Vision turret camera with the uh, separate infrared emitter and lens in different positions so you don't get any of the annoying reflections at night in the rain explained in the, the other video. Um, Check out the other videos I've done on this, um, on how to get rid of them horrible reflections at night, if you've got dome cameras to eliminate them. And uh, But this camera doesn't have it, but it doesn't have a sound in input capability either. So, um, the other ones are, are better in that regard. So, here's the front, the yellow box is round the uh, front east camera now. We're not hearing any noise because down here we've got the audio clicked off. So if we click audio on and turn it on. Just as the truck passes. Um, we'll hear that. Now if I open the back door of the, um, the shed now you'll hear how sensitive the front route, the front <laughs> microphone is. Uh, so don't forget this is the, I'm slamming the door of the shed but it's been picked up by the front microphone, not the rear microphone. Now the side camera, so when you've, uh, you're listening there, always click the microphone off before you go to another camera, because if you go to another camera, the mic stays on for the first camera, so you think you're listening to uh, the side, but you're actually listening to the front. So again, this is a side now, that's the, uh, the very cheap £1.99 camera. Uh, microphone and again if we slam the shed door we'll hear the side microphone picking it up so you can hear that's a, a tiny bit louder because it's nearer so again turn the sound off and finally click on the back of the house turn the microphone on Turn it up full. And if I do it now, you'll hear it's a lot louder because <coughs> that's the actual mic picking it up. In fact, if I open the back door now and uh, talk, um, you should actually even be able to hear me sat inside my shed. The mic should be picking it up. We might even get a bit of feedback with. Uh, would it be a bit louder? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So I think you you should have been able to hear that. Okay. In fact, even if I shout with the door shut, you can see even with the door shut, it is uh, picking up loud, loud voices. So there we go. It's dead easy, as you saw, to um, set up all the. Uh, the software's only a few things to click and uh, oh, that little demo at the end shows you how sensitive these microphones can be as I said on the other one we're not looking for uh, studio quality sound just anything helpful uh, if you do have a break in any helpful uh, audio it might pick up so uh, check out my other videos um, if anything interests you uh, have a quick look and uh, please give a, a thumbs up if it's okay uh, any comments uh, are always welcome. So I hope to catch you for another uh, video soon. Until then, bye for now.